Did you know that you can move on from the pack object? Here's how you do it. While we were developing Max 6, we had a discussion about the pack object. Now when I say the pack object, I also mean the unpack object and the pack as in PAK object. The question was, should we modify the pack family objects so that they work with wildcards? The strict typing involved in the pack family isn't very helpful. What if I don't know or care what type of input I will be receiving? For example, what if I want to be able to pack or unpack integers and floats without doing all this typecasting? Starts out integer, ends up float, goes back to being integer again. At the same time, we were finding in our workshops and through usability testing that people had a really difficult time conceptually with the idea of an empty symbol. Check this out. Why is the behavior of the pack object different from the behavior of a message box? Another thing is triggering. The PAK object is cool, but sometimes it outputs more than you need it to, leaving you with all that static trigger type patching over the top of the pack object that we all know and love. In fact, if you want to get pack-like behavior with wildcards in Max, you have to resort to cascaded ZL join objects and all sorts of other plumbing. So yeah, it would seem that it would be a really good idea to enlarge the functionality of the pack object to include wildcards. But hang on. What if we made a wildcard word or character like any or star and made wildcard functionality available in the pack family of objects? There is in fact a very small but distinct possibility that it will break the behavior of older patches where people might be relying on the way it has worked for the last 20 years. That's no good. Adding at symbols and stuff could end up making the pack objects even more difficult for beginners to understand than they already are. So what we ended up deciding was, okay, forget about the pack family, let's just make a new object and leave the pack crowd in the distribution for compatibility. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the join object. The join object doesn't care what you put into it. It accepts everything, even lists. You just tell it how many inlets you need. You can tell it which one is the trigger with the triggers attribute. The unjoin object is more of the same. You tell it how many outlets you want. If there is overflow because you have fed it a bunch of lists, the resulting data goes out the right hand outlet. You can tell it to output different size lists with the outsize attribute. Happy patching!